Who's there? It's just me, Stuff, with T. Ravis. Welcome back to Book Off News, week six, here in the very dirty, dirty goal off. And we're going to go head over to Blaine with half drama over by the bathroom. It's off. Go. Well, hello. This week for the cafeteria drama, we'll start off with the omelets. Two omelets this week, they're both delicious. Also, I believe a cafeteria worker watched last week's ca cafeteria drama. The chicken tenders were way better. <laughs> there was more of them. Some people got four, and they were a lot crispier, so they were good. Also, according to my polls, the approval rating for the new juice machine is way up. <laughs> Everybody has loved it. And apparently, the water is better than the water in the other machines. And finally... What is with the depot and the pink lemonade syrup? <laughs> it seems like any time you go there, you never know if it's going to be pink lemonade or you're just going to get water. But that's all I got for you today. Heading on over to Adam. Thank you, Blaine. Wait, sorry. I got quote of the week today. Before I begin, I just want to let you in a little trade secret. You see this notebook right here? It's supposed to be my calculus notebook, but lately it's just turned into a giant quote notebook. Because in the math department, we got a guy over there that's just a quote machine. So I have like a half a page just filled with quotes. So I'll just pick one out for you today. Here's what we got. Knowledge is a thing that walks a few, lives a few, and sleeps a few. So if you're ever taking a test and you forget everything, maybe it's because your knowledge slept in and you got up. Thank you for listening to the quote. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> I gotta get it out. <laughs> All right, Parker, what do you got for us this week? All right. Well, welcome back. Um, first things first. The 57 on Heinz ketchup bottles represents the number of variety of pickles the company wants. <laughs> he drops his pencil. Very, very important. Uh, another fact. President Kennedy, Kennedy was the fastest random speaker in the world. With <laughs> upwards of 350 words per minute. <laughs> what? Uh, also, third, third fact. Karaoke means empty orchestra in Japanese. <laughs> and probably the most useful fact of all, there are two credit cards for every person in the United States of America. Thank you. Get <laughs> educated. Thank you, Parker. Adam Answers Yes, sponsored by Band Together Co. Yes. All right, what do we got for Adam Tradition Sleep? Future slash sleep talk this week, David. All right, so I'm not going to lie, I'm a little upset. We did not discover any gold this week. <laughs> it might be because we didn't go mining for gold. Um, I don't know. Anyways, very, very, very light week from Adam this week. Unfortunately for you, all of our lovely viewers at home, I almost captured Adam's sleep talk on camera this week. So Wednesday night... He, uh, he started sleep talking, just a bunch of gibberish, and I was like, hey, he's sleep talking, I'll get my phone, got my phone, tried to record him, and he quit. And I was like, well, that kind of sucks. Put my phone back down, and rolled back over, and then he said, hello, hello, and I was like, oh, he's going to start sleep talking, put my phone up, nothing. Yeah, that was it. My prediction for what that means for next week, we make two new friends, so hopefully, you know, we make two new friends, you make two new friends, we always make a lot of friends, so thanks to me. Have a great week, folks. Thank you, David. Absolutely. I forgot. Uh, I had an anonymous source tell me this week that Adam hallucinated, dreamt, slept, walk, and thought that there was a gigantic bug on the bunk bed atop, atop of him. <laughs> and uh, for those of you wondering at home, no, I was not in bed yet, so it was not me. I was still out of the room. But apparently he got up and turned the lights on and uh, <laughs> started looking for a bug and there wasn't one around. The anonymous source was the bug, in case you were wondering. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Rody, what do you got for non-engineering news of the week? I'll think about it. <laughs> All right, so... This week from Non Engineering News, we got some more university events and your TV and entertainment sections of Ooh. your newspaper. Here we go. So, starting tonight, which will be like in the past, though, later, <laughs> we have pancakes. <laughs> 
coming back. It's in the calf. And that's weird. It's going to be a great time. I know because I'm telling you afterwards, but before. <laughs> at the same time. Just, and, wa- ju- just watch Tenet. You'll get it. Yeah. Also, in your TV and entertainment section, uh, Mandalorian dropped. And that was super hype. It was a great episode. And there's no spoilers here. Oh, that's good. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Blaine and Rody. So for the sad moment of the week, we'll go over to Parker's computer here with the keyboard lights still on. But as you can see, the corner's very damaged and she doesn't really want to work. It's kind of depressing. And Parker's having a tough time with it. Honestly, don't start yet. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, my favorite chicken. A fry. You're good. Whoa! <laughs> that was good. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> the old man. David, David from the backside. Oh. oh. David with six pins. Parker with a strong start. Oh, he looked good. Parker misses, gets five. This is for you, Harambe. Oh, Adam gets one. Oh, Adam ends up getting five. A common number. Oh. Two remain. Oh, we got one. One left. Get some. Oh, Brody! Brody with nine. Looking for the spare. Oh, that's tough, Brody. Not bad, David. Not bad. Oh, David just misses the spare. Oh, that's pretty oh, good, Parker. Got... Parker for the spare. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Nine like everybody else. Oh, pretty oh. good. Let's see it, Adam. Can you get the spare? I'm looking for Adam's good luck. Oh, oh my gosh. The man was wrong. It's impossible. Oh, my goodness. Gotta get the spare. Oh, Serious <laughs> Travis, you just won the first ever Bukoff Bully with Meatballs. What do you have to say? Meatball. Oh, thank you, Blaine. Um, I just want to thank all our loyal fans, all 29 subscribers, and I hope we get more from this video. Hey, That's all I have. Absolutely. Mr. Quackers is here. You played the ceremony on Mr. Quackers trophy and the game ball. Congratulations, Travis. Thank you for inventing this game. Whoever invented it. I'm not sure. It was me. It was Justin Rohde. Game Check him out. Ball. The real Game together, bro. Yeah. Thanks, Woo! folks. And that's all for stuff with T-Rex. Hope you like the video and subscribe. And yeah, that's it.